Greetings, Bobby W6IWN here. I'm on a soda summit in a Poda Park at 8,000 feet, and I'm gonna test out the new Chameleon 25 foot whip with the spike on a soda scenario. So let's get into setting it up and see how this thing performs. Today is the perfect day to give it the wind test. Boy, are the winds ripping up here. All right, let's show you the setup today. I'll be using the Chameleon SS25 collapsible whip. Uh, in conjunction, I have the Chameleon quick release on here. It's really cool. You can just screw one end to your antenna, one end to your mount, and then it's spring loaded, and you can just twist it on for really quick action. I got the Chameleon spike here. I'm gonna be using the Chameleon RG316. I'm really digging this. It has a choke built in to one end. I was doing a dirty ballon with some cheap uh, Amazon RG316. I was doing eight or nine wraps. I was losing a lot of length in my coax and I also had problems with it pulling out. The shrink wrap on these goes down way further. They seem way beefier. So I'm excited to hook that up. And also I'll be using the Hybrid Mini uh, with some counterpoise wires I have all cut up. And then I'll, I'm gonna also screw on the puck hub. I like the puck hub. The puck hub's rad because if you look on the end, there's six holes for banana plugs. If you notice, all my counterpoise have banana plugs. So I just plug them in and go. All right, I'm gonna do a, a head camera angle for once so you can actually really see how the setup's going. So let's get to setting up. All right, let's get to it. First thing I'm gonna do is stick the spike in the ground. Oh, nice. I was able to get it in there without using the stick I had on standby to pound it in. I'm gonna take this puck hub and I'm gonna screw it between my hybrid mini and the spike, just like so. Okay, now that that's on there, I'm gonna go ahead and screw it into my spike. Okay, I'm gonna screw this in here now. Okay. I'm gonna grab my counterpoise wires. Rather than put them on six different winders, I just wound them all up together on one winder for my soda pack. There's one. I have several counterpoise wires here. Uh, I have five of them. Uh, most of them are tuned to different bands and then I have a 25 footer and then one that's a little bit longer. I have a BNC female to PL259 adapter I'm gonna use with this coax. I'm gonna go ahead and screw the coax into the hybrid mini down here. All right, now that this is all set up, I'm going to go ahead and extend my coax out and decide where I want to operate. It's windy up here, but I do see some lakes in the background. I always like to look at the lake while I'm talking to you guys, so I think I'm going to go over here somewhere. I actually realized I hooked up my coax backwards. I want the choke on the radio end in this scenario. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that down here. Put the end with no choke at the antenna. That way I can use my coax as another counterpoise. All right, drum roll, here we go. Let's see how this thing does in the wind. All right, it's taking the wind. It's getting a little more action than I'm comfortable with. I think it's gonna be okay though. The wind is really whipping. It's doing better than my, my normal mass would with my in-fed half wave. But I was kind of thinking about maybe 
3D printing some rings, plastic rings that could slide to maybe about this section. And then you could use them in, as insulators and then use maybe some construction twine or some really small durable string for lightweight guys in scenarios like this. All right, let me show you what I did just for a little peace of mind. So I had some kite string in my bag for another soda antenna, some electrical tape. I rolled some electrical tape on itself backwards. That way it didn't stick to the actual mast. And then I wrapped it around again with my one tiny string. I don't know if you could see it. Okay, here's the shack of the day. I turned the radio on and I got Puerto Rico coming in. First thing on 10 meters. Spot myself for some soda poda. DQ, CQ, summits and parks on the air. This is Whiskey 6 India Whiskey November calling CQ, CQ and listening. Whiskey Bravo 6, Papa Oscar Tango. QRZ, Summits and Parks on the Air. Okay, I'm getting all kinds of you guys. First with the Whiskey 4 Golf Oscar, please. That's right, Whiskey 4 Golf Oscar, and I'm hearing you 5x5 five five in Virginia, QSL. All right, thanks for the 55 in Virginia. I'm running 20 watts on a 25-foot telescopic chameleon whip right now. Okay, very good, good signal. I heard a park to park in there, park to park. Kilo Delta 2, Kilo Kilo Alpha, is that your call? Roger, Roger. Uh, uh, I'm in park US 04, 54, 04, 54, New Jersey. 44, 44. Roger, 44. You're uh, probably about the same, let's say 43 here in New Jersey, yourself. QSL, great to do a coast to coast, my friend. QRZ? Okay, there was a couple. First of the Kilo Club back four. Kilo Quebec four, India Alpha Mike. Kilo Quebec four, India Alpha Mike, 58, Northern California. QSL, thank you for the 58. You're 55, North Carolina. QRZ? Whiskey Delta four, X ray Alpha. We got a real loud station. Whiskey Delta 4 X ray Alpha 5 9. QSL, you're 5 9, Alabama. QRZ Summit and Parks on the Air. This is Whiskey 6 India, Whiskey November. Okay, there was a couple. I want to try to work you all. Whiskey X ray 1 Sierra. Roger. You're 5555 in the state of New Hampshire. QRZ. November 4th, Lima Alpha Golf. Okay, there was a couple. I want to try to get you all first with the Whiskey Delta 4. All right, it was a success. I got a park to park, I got a summit to summit. I started at 101 my time, I ended up at 131. I ended up passing the frequency on. I thought that'd be a good test, a 30 minute test. I ended up getting 27 in the log. I'm really stoked. I got all kinds of states out there. Uh, the band conditions aren't that great today. Uh, I was working 10 meters, it was a lot of QSB, but I made it happen. I had a ton of fun with this. So the deployment was super easy and that's gonna make it easier when I go down the hill too. So I can just collapse it and uh, get down to the car. So I got some other configurations of this antenna I'm looking to try in the future. So stay tuned for more. I was a little skeptical actually, taking this thing up to a summit, especially when I started walking up here and the wind was kicking up, but that was the perfect test. It worked out, I had a lot of fun. It was super easy to deploy. It was even easier to take down and a lot quicker than my infed half wave. Uh, if this is something you're interested in, I will post links below in the video description of everything I was using today. Thanks for watching, 7-3. Hope to catch you next time.